so Hey, good looking. What's up? All right, so you got everything you need now to get your rover ready for the ice, yeah? Only thing I need left is some time. A day should do it. Want me to get started now? No reason to wait. Gotta be ready as soon as possible.
here. We're finally here. I hope the beacon of this lost city actually works. For fuck's sake, it's better. Walking to the pole would be a pain in the ass. Our rover mods have made my baby more sluggish than... Well, me after a few drinks. Anyway, I can tell you that we aren't the first to go down this path. You think it's the ASC? Not sure, but I can make out tracks. Some of which look older than you. Ah, uh, this brings back memories. What else is fucking new? No, I, I've been down that road before. Yeah, I'm 50, 90, 100% sure it was with your father. And you couldn't say that earlier? I, I, I wasn't familiar with the road. I'm sorry. I just didn't realize that this was the city that we... All right, settle down, you two. Let's not dwell on the past. We can do that later, when it's warm. But Scott, if you've been here before, your memories can be useful. How strange. This feels like we're going back in time. I wonder how this will change things between humans and mutants. If we contact Earth, many things will change. And if we have any say, those changes will be for the betterment of all mutant kind. Soothing words, but I cannot help but be suspicious. They may be our ancestors, but I have the feeling they won't be pleased with their descendants. I wonder if Victor's beat us to the punch. If he did... He wouldn't destroy it. He couldn't. He's an egomaniac. He'd just want credit for being the first to turn it. Now, what worries me is what happens if he discovers our secret. Either way, it's time to end this. Time for a little payback. Mancer style. Zack, I'm nervous. Whatever we discover could change our lives, and everyone's on Mars. Do we really want to contact a planet that has neglected us for so long? If we don't do it, someone else will. And they might have less than pure intentions. True. Better us than someone like Victor. But still, it's such a... precarious responsibility. Let's go take a look. I'm curious. So this is the infamous camp. You must have been some kind of masochist to set up shop here. The temperature alone. I made some incredible discoveries. Discoveries that changed my life. Mine and others. What? I was frantic, desperate for a cure. Anything to save, help my son. I was hoping these ruins would reveal some subtler secret that would allow me to make him human again. But alas, I did quite the opposite. I discovered that technomancers had a genome or controlled mutation, if you will. It was a shield, protected them from what my son... And from there I realized I might have a lead for a cure. So I found my first batch of test subjects. Young people who... Wait, you mean... That my experiments gave you and Andrew your powers. Uh, the short answer is... Yes. But I found I couldn't save my son because once the mutation begins the therapy renders no effects i felt helpless lost so don't you see you are the living proof of my the only real success in my life i became the first scientist since the settlers to create exceptional beings what they we call technomancers
What are you doing here? I was just reading, and I found out. Shit, this is your fault. You knew? That we're all mutants? Yes, that's the secret. The one we share at initiation and bear into our grades. The one we try to protect at any cost. Do you understand why now? You, the others. I could see it. I wouldn't even be surprised, but me? Never. I could never be one of those abominations. We all have the genes that the Settlers made. Just like Great Master Ian was. Just like Sean was. Just like Connor, Melvin, Andrew, and I are. You are a mutant, Alan. Shut up! Not another word! Are you done? I... I am sorry, Zack. What have I done? I've tried so hard to destroy you and the others. Wanted so much to be the best. That I ended up rushing my brothers, my sisters, towards their ruin. You were so gifted. So loved by our masters. I hated you and them with a passion. And I could never understand why. I was blind. Stuck believing that I deserved to be special. I only knew that then. He knows, you know. Because of me. You're talking about Victor. Yes. He was there when we found the documents. And the moment they were in his grasp, he looked at me like a piece of meat and started laughing. The charm melted away and the cruelty came. You have to kill him, Zack. If he survives. I know. I'll do my duty. Question is, what should we do with you? He tortured me, almost killed me, but is an eye for an eye really the solution? Everyone deserves a second chance, Zachariah, even the cruelest of men. Creatures like this? When I stayed there, these creatures were everywhere. A flood. I shudder to remember. I had my interest with different 
excursions in the city center, so I kept to keep my distance. Rover probably belongs to the ASC. The bridge collapsed behind them, but Victor couldn't have gone too far. Better keep my guard up. We knew they had reached the city, so I can't say it's a surprise. No, but I hope it's the last time we cross paths with Victor's blunts. Getting pretty sick of their faces.
Zachariah Manser. I was wondering if you'd make it this far, but I must admit you're particularly sharp. For a mutant. You are too late. I've already discovered the dark secret that your kind has hidden for so long. However, this city... Amazing, isn't it? So full of wonders. A complex of keys to a brand new world. That doesn't matter. You're not gonna live to see it. Really? Do you intend to kill me? Like that poor boy Jeff? You won't get the opportunity, I'm afraid. My men are a little bit on edge after what you did to their comrade. Now, if you would be so kind, I'm going to pry that last secret out of the belly of this city. The one that will give me a hero's welcome back at Abundance. Help me impose a new world order. Farewell, Zachariah. Chin up. Thanks to your hard work, Abundance will now have a bigger, brighter future. Sorry to bother you, but I'm gonna have to stop you right there. I have to admit, even after everything, you are still full of surprises. Such tenacity. Scott. I figured someone had to lead little Zachariah to the right spot. What are you doing with this stray dog? You were the first modern scientist to discover the secret of the Technomancers. And although I haven't read all of your research, I can say that I'm quite the fan. Come, join me in abundance, and I'll find you a comfy chair near the head of the table. You have the charming rhetoric of the empty promises of an amateur tyrant. You think yourself better than people, but you have no idea. Technomancers are the future of, of the human race, and, and, and you... How dare you? You can't believe the, the audacity. Zachariah is like a son to me. You, sir! are a raving simpleton. Thanks, Scott, but I'm afraid insults won't cut it this time. Your path ends here, Victor. We'll see about that. Ironic, the commander of armies and persecutor of thousands, sabotaged by his own heart. That's a twist I'll live with. God damn! What was that? I can't say for sure, but I can feel the tremors from here. Let's move. Heart of the city, now.
Surely the beacon is here. This place is breathtaking. The ice has preserved it well. Initializing solar system display. Wasted, dreaming of a rescue from a place that's nothing but a cloud of scattered rocks. Everyone on Mars, if they hear of this, they'll be devastated. What am I gonna tell them? What should I do, Andrew? Wish I had the perfect answer for you. But I can only tell you how I feel. And I feel that people deserve the truth. The truth will set us free, right? Without a doubt, it will cause riots, maybe even wars. But you'll finally give people a chance to leave their lives of ignorance. Knowing that Mars is all we have is a scary thing, but it's just as liberating. And ceasing to pretend that Technomancers are human will let you, me, and all our brothers and sisters live openly, free and proud. And I'm sure that Noctis or Mutant Valley would welcome us the corporation's views on us turn sour. What do you think, Nisha? I think it's our responsibility to tell the world that there's nothing to expect from the outside. But we have to do it gently. Otherwise, we'd be looking at a worldwide revolution. And if you reveal your true colors to abundance, it won't accept you for who you are. But you know you'll always be welcome at Noctis. Whatever happens, your support could shift the balance of power on Mars, and what better city to pick than Noctis, the one place that accepts all walks of life, human or mutant. What do you think I should do, Amelia? Grow a pair of ears, will ya? I say, cut the bullshit. Tell everyone the truth. It'll suck in the beginning, but only by knowing will people start growing. <laughs> Damn, I should be a poet. Abundance might fall, but after what they did to us, sucks to suck. Then we could always crash at Noctis or Mutant Valley, right? Scott, I need advice. It's a difficult decision indeed. I would be tempted myself to spill the beans, as you youths would say, but I still... Eh, I know from experience that the truth is quite like a mushroom cloud. Do you want to set off the bomb? Not just one, but two terrible, awful, catastrophic secrets. I shuddered. But, Zach, nothing stops us from going home. With Victor's passing, you would undoubtedly... Well, there's always a small chance. Likely become the great master of Abundance's Technomancers. And you could do great things for our corporation and our city. Help science. Stop corruption. Restore justice. You could do it all, my boy. Just right now, I, I would very much like for us to go home. I'd live none the wiser. What would you do if you were me, Phobos? I would reveal everything. The truth is not comforting, but it has proven us right. We decided to build our future here on the Red Planet, our planet, because there is nothing waiting for us out there. It's just a shame that humans haven't done the same. Show your true face to the world. Let the humans throw their tantrums and come join us in Mutant Valley. You and the Technomancers could help us turn our city into a nation. And together, we could make the world a paradise where everyone can be proud of who they are, not ashamed of what they are. After all, aren't we brothers?
It's time for the truth. There'll be no more hiding, no more secrets. I'm gonna tell them of Earth's destruction and reveal the true identity of every single Technomancer on the planet. This news will send shockwaves across Mars, but it's the first step for changing our planet. For the better. Let's go. Mutant Valley awaits. Looking back now, I bet I wouldn't even recognize the young Zachariah Mancer who just earned his stripes. And little did I know that all my choices would compound together and shape the city under the ice. By allowing Bolgakov safe passage out of the city, the Resistance survived and thrived, and their support later proved invaluable. Despite my orders, I couldn't bring myself to kill my fellow man, so I let the deserters go and arrested their leader instead. I found him broken down in a re-education camp much later. I remember letting poor Dave go, understanding he only betrayed me to protect his family. Meanwhile, a more dangerous spy was hiding in my shadow. Despite everything Jeffrey did to me, I couldn't let Nisha shoot him down like a dog. And even in all my efforts to be a good soldier, I was still exiled from Ophir. No matter what happened, Victor was always going to discredit me. That my decisions of friends, alliances, would greatly influence the events that followed. The day I left Ophir in a stolen rover was the day I had chosen the people alongside me to become my companions through adventure, misfortune, and into battle. Later, I agreed to help Dandolo chase the Vori out of Noctis for good, cutting them off at the bridgehead they hoped to use to infiltrate every settlement on Mars. And because of that, Anton came close to paying the ultimate price when his men picked him as the scapegoat. But he's not a man you get rid of that easily. By becoming the great master of Technomancers, I've earned their unwavering loyalty. But I've also accepted a lifelong responsibility. Since I've left the city under the ice, I've had many young apprentices, and the Order is powerful again, our future bright. Scum keeps the young mutant nation alive and well, and with Phobos' help, he has managed to repel corporations' troops, time and time again. And with the incoming surge of refugees, you'd be a fool to bet against Mutant Valley. It's destined to become the most powerful force on Mars. The release of the mutants of Ophir opened a breach that was never resealed. Thousands upon thousands of mutants escaped to join Mutant Valley. And today, the citizens of Abundance actually have to do the labor themselves. My travels with Amelia opened my eyes to what else was out there, and what had been right there beside me. With all her trash talk, she certainly has a big heart. She's been discovering new fertile lands to empower Mutant Valley to expand. Oh, and on the side, she opens new trade routes for Noctis. Yeah, so, that's my girlfriend. Whenever I can, I accompany her. Couldn't imagine doing anything else. The Army's role in taking down Victor allowed it to regain its honorable post as the protector of abundance. The generals have powerful representatives at the assembly again. Then even if the corporation has lost some luster and prestige after the colonel's reign, at least it can properly defend itself. Dandolo made the most of our alliance, as you would expect. Noctis is now ubiquitous. Its merchants have obtained the right to citizenship in Ophir and are free to come and go from the exchange as they please. Yet nothing compared to my revelations. Learning that Earth was destroyed, discovering that Technomancers were mutants crafted in the vision of the settlers. When I announced the truth, the corporations lashed out. There were widespread riots and revolts, and most Technomancers fled before the leaders of the Alliance could put the pieces together. To adapt to Mars, we had to mutate, or we wouldn't survive. Remaining human had only been an illusion, and one that we had unknowingly mastered. I heard that a few scientists have reproduced Scott's experiments, and I have no doubt there'll be more of us in the future. One day, Mutant Valley won't be the only place a mutant can call home. Instead, it'll be the capital, for a race spread across Mars. At least that's what I hope.